Alright, these are our three our eight heads finished for the Monaro. They come up good, eh? They come off the bog all painted. Ready to rock and roll. All K lines, guides in them. They've uh, got the works, hard insets I've put in them too. So, what I'm going to do is uh, show you another little trick with um, performance and flow with your heads is uh, back cutting valves. And basically, what we're going to do here, we're just going to blue in a valve. So, I'll just put the stem it out in a valve and so this blue it's just pasty blue engineers blue it is all right we just put that on very lightly don't want too heavy all right just go all the way around very finger that's light beautiful and even all right and what we'll do is put in our valve guide right, I'll just bring you over here okay we'll just tap in a couple of times I just want to wipe the um, blue off him and then what we'll do, I'll show you the blue that is actually where our valve actually hits on the seat and there it is there and you, know, you can actually see where all your angles start coming into play. That's a bit hard with the, the chambers being polished. Who does that? Anyway, so what we'll do, we'll put the valve back in, give it a tap, and what that'll do, that'll transfer the blue off the seat on the back onto the valve, and we'll see where our seat's sitting. And it's sitting, yeah, a little bit, that's, that's nice. So what we can do, that inner edge there, we can do a 7, 30 degree angle right there and we'll get two angles on our valve and they'll get better flow around the valve that way. Oops, yeah. Okay. So we put it in our valve facer, that's set at 30 degrees. Let's see if I can handle this piece one handle. I haven't done this before. Done it with no eyes, but limbs is a bit different. I mean no eyes as in I've had metal in my eyes obviously. I got hit by a big rock head, a big rock Chevy head actually, about four weeks ago Porton, Porton and a bit flew off the head and enemy eye and mind you it was microscopic but so what's me do? Yeah, wait a week before um, I go to the hospital. It's all good now. You shouldn't muck around with your eyes. I was wearing glasses, but sometimes just with the die grinder going off its head, and a lot of the die grinders sometimes exhaust out the front of the, um, the actual die grinder, so the exhaust is actually blowing all the swarf and everything back into your, up the port and back into your face. What we'll do, we'll give it a wipe. I'm oh, sorry, I'm just wiping the mouth. I might put him down. Right. Okay. Like right. right, that. And you can see the blue. It's right on the very edge and right where our angle comes right up there. So that's perfect. So that's put your two angles on your valve, it's called back cutting. You can, if the margin on the valve, which is that the thickness there, that's called the margin. In some cases in the big Ferrera um, stainless se se um, severe duty valves, they've got a really thick margin. And if you wanted to, you could actually bring the seat up, up the valve a bit and put a slight, say 60 degrees angle on it, but I don't really like playing with the outside of the valves, it's, um, yeah, it's a bit hairy there, you don't, don't want to make them thin. So um, that's basically our back cut valves, like we were saying in the earlier videos before with the head mod ones, is the more, more angles you can get on, around, on and around a valve seat, the more, um, it, it uh, sort of acts like a radius instead of say like a big elbow 90 degree bend. Yeah, they um, they haven't come up too bad after all that work. 
fair bit of work and um, believe me people you do not make money hoarding heads especially again these are about a 60 hour port job I should know you got um, probably another I don't know four five six hours doing like fitting valve guides I've fitted actually custom um, uh, hardened valve seats they actually can crop LPG gas but um, yeah they've, I've actually put them in special it, it's hard when they've um, got the big exhaust valve in them um, the bigger you go the bigger insert you've got to put in and you can go through the water jacket in the head so yeah so we get away with that beautifully now I just want to show you just a few other little tricks too or stuff with um, actual Porting and that the tools used. What I've done here, that bench is terrible. <laughs> what I've done usually, what, what we do is you use your carbide burrs, right? They come in all sorts of shapes. It's up to you what you're comfortable with. But what I do is I get a um, 3 8 Booker rod that's a, like a stainless steel rod, 3 8 UNC, and um, I turn, you know, probably about three quarters to an inch down the shaft down to a quarter of an inch to fit into the um, to the chuck of the die grinder and then I drill an a interference hole there and I actually press those tools in so I've actually got an extension so they're a lot easier to use and you get right up port so that's it, one little trick I've done um, you know you can put all your tools in like uh, I usually start off with all my carbide rough out and then in some cases because they're a bit rough you can go to the stone just to blend it out and with your polishing like I've tried everything polishing is just a pain even though it looks good and everything but um, you know they, they, they bought out these they're like a little tapered mandrel and those little abrasive cone um, the cylinder bit that actually screws onto the tapered shaft there um, I've found, I've honestly, go primitive mate, the cheapest and best I think is the same what I've done, just the uh, 3 8 stainless steel bar or you know stainless better because they can bend after a while so um, I turn it down to a quarter inch to get, go into the chuck here and with these I, I cut a slot down there with a hacksaw and then I just get me emery tape and we just, just, um, I'll try and do it one handed again. But what you do, and you, you actually wrap your tape around this, uh, this, um, shaft here, and it acts as your own big flat wheel. And I f find, um, yeah, it gives you better finish and it covers a lot more area. And yeah, it's a lot just smoother. It does make a hell of a mess. You want to wear a face mask, mate, because you're just breathing all sorts of dust and abrasive so it's not good for the body even though we do plenty worse to it I suppose and um, that's about it everything else has been um, we've all, all our spring hides have been done when we've done the seat seats so all our spring tensions are spot on so we'll um, get into um, building the rest of the motor here you can see last night I just put it, on, put it back on the stand after a wash. I've um, put all gallery plugs in it, the oil gallery plugs. There's a couple there, there, there. Oil pump drive shafts back into position. And um, Welsh plugs down the side. What I've done with I, I run stainless steel Welsh plugs. I don't run steel or brass. Brass uh, reacts with aluminium. And um, yeah, it's, it causes electrolysis. So steel. Russ, uh, I use stainless and you know, you never have to change them. So, anyway, um, with the stainless ones, though, I polish them up. Like, uh, when I buy them, I'll show you around inch and five eight. Like the Chevy Holdens are very, very, very similar to Chevy, they are Chev, really. The Australian brother, now that's that's just a plug standard there, but I actually put them in the lathe in the chuck. And I get me a little sandpaper in there while it's spinning. And hit your knuckles in that, but it's alright. And um, actually polish them so they actually come up. Look at that, they come up 
I don't know. Not many people, you know, do that, but I just like having, you know, I just uh, like having a little bit of class to the job. Make it go good and make it look good, eh? Anyway, we'll catch you later. And um, might catch up with uh, some other tricks. I'm looking forward to uh, getting into the cam timing because uh, a lot of people don't understand that. And um, we'll talk about that and I'll make it um, sound really simple. So there you go. She's underway. See you later.